Hello all lovely people out there, this is Kevin from CC Pipe here where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. And in this video I will show you how to import more intentionally into InDesign. And I think I dare say that most of the time we just drag files in or import them as straight up as they are. But you can actually choose how to import for a lot of file types, for example PDF, Illustrator and Photoshop files all let you customize your import. Allowing you to choose for example whether to include a background or bleed. And uh, this isn't complicated, so let's jump over to InDesign and I'll show you three different file type imports plus a related bonus tip. We can start with importing a PDF. Control D for import. And here I have an ad that I want to bring in. So select it and then make sure to check the import options right here. Now, when we continue, we get all these options. We can importantly now choose which pages we like. By uh, default, it would normally bring in only the first page, and I want page 2 to 3. Next, we can choose whether to bring it in as it is, or to crop to bleed or trim, and if we want a transparent background or not. When I import print ads, I like to choose bleed here to get a perfect fit on the page for the bleed box, and I like to not use transparent background just in case there's some page numbers or footers on the page which will then show through. But that's all preference. There's also a tab for layers if you work with a layered PDF, but I thought we could look at layers in the next example. Now we can bring it in. We get it cropped to the bleed box and uh, get the pages we wanted. So I'm just going to place these here. Next example I had is for Illustrator logos. So Control D, check the import options, and this should look quite similar to last time for Logos, I usually want a transparent background and uh, crop it to the bounding box, i.e. the object bounds. But as you can see, we have a background color. However, if we move over to layers, I have put the background in an illustrator layer so we can just hide it. And now if you look at the preview, it goes away and crops it to just the logo. Perfect. We can also do the same for Photoshop files. We can just take a look. I'll just do the same thing once more. And here we can also show or hide layers. And maybe I don't want to include this phone layer here. And we can just hide it and uh, then just bring it in as well. Paste it in here. So lastly, my bonus tip, we can also go to the object menu right here, then object layer options. And now we can once again access layers and toggle them after we've imported. And perhaps we actually wanted the phone layer back. Then we can just reveal it in here. Nice. And that was all for this video, and keep in mind using Adobe file formats will often give you more options, meaning .ai instead of EPS, and PSD instead of TIFF for example. So, alright, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.